Hello and welcome to Infoground, your go-to source for the latest scoop your entertainment news meets inside. Check this out. Will Smith confirms first new album in almost 20 years. Big Willie is back, baby! After almost 20 years, the one and only Will Smith is dropping a new album. That's right, Fox. The Fresh Prince himself confirmed the news and we were hyped. Will Smith's last album, Lost and Found, dropped in 2005. And let's be real, it was a classic. But now he's back in the studio cooking up some new eats and we can't wait to hear it. In an interview shared by the Instagram account Black Film Allies, Smith discusses about his first project since 2005's Lost and Found. Over the past year and a half, I've been in the studio, he tells the interviewer. I have a project that is the most personal and powerful music project I've ever done. The idea of the music is dance in your darkest moments. Oh, we ready? What I see, Mr. Reed, huh? that's a project. Ah. What's up, y'all? So, listen, I just finished my album. The music is hot, but you always have to do the car test. So, we're gonna hop in, and I got some special friends that are coming in to check it out with me. So, go. I'm the paint, and I'm the brush, and I'm the canvas. I am a saint, but if you touch, I am a savage. I am a Libra, but I identify as a cancer. I am the tongue, truth and the lie, both in tandem. In addition, in an Instagram post on Tuesday, the 23rd of July, that previews his new collaboration with Ross Walk of Arts, Smith says, I just finished my album. Dancing Your Darkest Moment seems like it may in fact be the album title since the phrase already has its own Instagram page and website. It is billed as a human wellness initiative designed to inspire self-exploration, encourage acceptance and cultivate a celebration for life that is inspired by Smith. Next up, Cardi B denies homophobia claims after spots with Nicki Minaj fan. Cardi B is clapping back at accusations of homophobia after a spicy exchange with a Nicki Minaj fan who thought it was okay to spit on a wax figurine at Madame Tussauds. The Bronx rap star took to X on Tuesday, July 23 to clap back at a user who filmed himself speeding on a wax model at Madame Tussauds Hollywood. The video shows the man in question standing next to Cardi's lifelike figurine and saying, they don't have you in the dark shadows for no reason, bitch. Nobody likes you. He then spits in the wax's model's face and says, bitch, before walking away. Fittingly for the Nicki fan, the young money rapper's hit single, Star Sheeps, was playing in the background at the time. Kylie responded by calling the man's masculinity into question, writing, but when I said, be a boy. When another user asked if she keeps the same energy with celebrity blogger Ken Babby, she replied, Ken don't act like that and can build an IKEA set. He a man. The bothered yellow artist was then accused by someone else of being homophobic, but she was quick to shut down the assertion. The man who spat at a wax model eats back a Cardi's boy taunt by posting a photo of him smiling next to Nicki Minaj's Madame Tussauds model. He wrote, be a mother, be a wife. Worried about me being a boy when your husband is messing with ladies with sticks. Ouch. Despite the allegations of homophobia, Cardi B has long been a vocal supporter of the LGBTQ plus community. Back in 2022, the Grammy winner took aim at homophobes on X by writing, Every bad bitch have a gay best friend cousin. If you're homophobic, you're just ugly. I mean, she's even officiated same-sex weddings and spoken out against homophobes. Remember, don't come for Caddy unless she sends for you, honey. And finally, on some devastating news, Solange slams treatment of black women after Sonia Massey's fatal police shooting. Solange just dropped some real talk about the treatment of black women by the police and we're listening. 
In a recent interview, Solange shared her thoughts on the devastating police shooting of Sonia Massey, a black woman who was killed in her own home. Solange called out the systemic racism and misogyny that leads to these tragedies, saying, it's not just about police brutality, it's about the dismantling of the black woman's body. Girl, preach. First what Sonia Massey said at her front door where don't hurt me, she wrote. She was told, why would we hurt you? You called us. When have those words meant anything when you're black and woman in this country? When do those words protect you from not being murdered in your own kitchen, in your bedroom, with your babies, or on your lawn? What is reassurance in this place? Solange added, rest in power Sonia Massey and an abundance of love and power to Sonia's family on this journey. Sonia, a 36-year-old black woman from Springfield, Illinois, was shot and killed by an Illinois sheriff's deputy at her home on July 6th after calling the police for help. Massey, whom her daughter confirmed was paranoid schizophrenic, had called the cops because she feared that someone was trying to break into her home. Authorities released body cam footage of the incident earlier this week. The video shows the deputies searching Massey's home, asking for ID, and then things take a turn for the worse. One of them notices a pot of boiling water on the stove and asks Massey to remove it. But here is where it gets crazy. Massey jokes about throwing the water at them and one of the deputies loses it. He whips out his gun, aims it at Massey and says, you better fucking not. I'll fucking shoot you right in your fucking face. And then he actually does it. He fires three shots, one of which eats Massey right below the eye. The deputies all come and collect his saying, that's a headshot she's done. While Massey is lying on the floor, gasping for air. It's like, sir, you just shot someone in the face. And the fact that he wasn't even showing any sign of remorse. The officer who fired the shots, Sean Grayson, has been arrested and charged with three counts of first-degree murder. And let me tell you, he's being held without bond, so he won't be getting out anytime soon. Serves him right. This whole thing is a tragedy, and I'm still trying to process it all. But one thing's for sure, justice needs to be served. Rest in power, Sonia Massey. Your life mattered, and we won't forget it. And that's a wrap, guys. Don't forget to like this video, share, and also subscribe.